dear students today we are going to differentiate a story and a play so you all remember the story the magic spell ammu and anoop and the father you remember the story isn't it so today yeah. i am going to read the first part of the story the magic spell and we are trying to convert the story into a play okay when we are writing a play we must have to remember the elements of a play i hope you all we studied from the previous class right play we can call it as a script okay we have to prepare a script so here we have the story with us this story ammu and anoop were twins they went to school in the oldest car in the world the front door wouldn't open from inside it often refused to start and they would have to push the car while powers at the wheel in front of the whole school all our friends make fun of us they complained this car is not environment friendly said ammu pushing up her glasses nonsense said pa this car has been in our family for forever we know said ammu said anoop let's sell it to a museum yes and buy a cool car said ammu it's a lucky charm thundered pa the twins sighed okay now we are going to read the script form of the same passage or the same paragraph the magic spell scene 1 in front of the school building pa is picking up anub and ammu in his car anub and ammu push the old car while pa sits at the wheel finally the car starts and the twins jump in ammu and anub all our friends make fun of us ammu pushing up her glasses this car is not environment friendly pa nonsense this car has been in the family for anub in a frustrated voice forever we know let's sell it to a museum ammu yes and buy a cool car pa looks at them angrily it's a lucky charm the twins sigh pa continues driving okay dear students now let's look into the differences between a play and a story yeah the both play and the story tell about the same events as they happen isn't it the characters and settings are also the same in a story the narrator is the main speaker in a play the character tell the story in a play the setting is described only at the beginning and the character's actions are described through stage directions right so you know what is a stage direction very clearly i explained you in the previous classes the stage directions that tell the actors what to do and how to do what to say isn't it but in a story all these things come together in paragraphs 